Test Drive with Graham Fletcher. Well, through the magic of television, I've left the speedway, made a quick change, and it materialized in this parking lot. Why a parking lot? Well, Graham Fletcher said to meet him here. But all that's here is this Honda and no Graham Fletcher. I should have known. He got back from the Indy fast. That's a long story, Graham. And Graham, I'm sure you have a nice story on how you got both these cars here, but are we testing two cars this week on Test Drive? Two cars, but one concept, and that concept is four-wheel steering. Honda were the first to mass-produce four-wheel steering in North America in the Prelude. They were followed very shortly after by Mazda with the 626. To get things rolling, though, let's go to a video that was made by one of the manufacturers that shows some of the basic principles of four-wheel steering. Mechanical four-wheel steering has long been used for construction equipment and forklift trucks, but these vehicles do not have to worry about high-speed handling and stability, to say nothing of a natural steering sensation. Conventional four-wheel steering reduces the turning radius. In this case, the rear wheels are turned in the opposite direction to the ones in front. However, when Nissan experimented with this sort of system, the company found that drivers who had been accustomed to conventional two-wheel steering were left with a certain feeling of awkwardness. For instance, when maneuvering from tight places, the rear of the body swings outwards towards obstacles. And it can be difficult to control the car when backing up. Nissan doesn't think this is good enough because when it comes to cars, it's important to have four-wheel steering with a natural feel to it. And therein lies the difference in the types of four-wheel steering systems likely to appear in the Canadian market. That was interesting, Graham, but let's do our own test drive. Okay, Brad, let's see four-wheel steering at its very best. I don't know if you'll be able to feel it, but the turn-in response that we've been experiencing so far has been much faster in this car than in most conventional steered cars. When we finish this, it'll be interesting to see how the Mazda handles a similar course. This will demonstrate four-wheel steering at its best. Watch this. See how nimbly we dodged that potential accident? One of the benefits of four-wheel steering is the reduced turning circle. See what I mean? Well, Graham, before you get to the scoreboard, is there any little pet peeves you have? Anything you don't like about this vehicle? No pet peeve, no scoreboard, because we were looking at four-wheel steering and not a vehicle. As far as four-wheel steering is concerned, it's kind of a hung jury at the moment. I think there's a definite place in the market for four-wheel steering because it does improve handling. However, the concept is not without its detractors, and in essence what they say is the money would be better spent on anti-lock brakes. 